Hello guys, welcome to another class. Today I am going to talk about parts of the speech. When we speak or when we write, there are some parts of the speech that we need to know. It's very important that we recognize which one is a verb, which one is a noun, which one is an adverb, because later on in the future when you know those things it will be easier for you to create a new sentence or a new speech. So, let's get to know them! Let's start with the noun. A noun could be anything. Could be a place, a person, an animal, or a thing. For example, man, woman, cow, house, playground, idea, job. So the noun is pretty much everything we see. This camera, this t-shirt, this eyebrow. Now let's talk about the pronoun. The pronoun are the people or the things that are doing an action. For example, I, he, they, mine, his, theirs, himself, themselves. Now it's time to know about the adjective. And the adjective qualifies a noun. But what is that? It's the description that we have for a noun. Now remember that a noun could be a t-shirt. So something that describes this t-shirt will be an adjective. For example, if I say, wow, this is a very cool t-shirt. That means that cool is the adjective because it's giving a qualification to my t-shirt. An adjective could be pretty, happy, good, bad, long, short. Now, for example, if you say, it's a very cold day, that means that cold is giving a qualification or a description for a day. So cold is basically the adjective. Now let's move on to the verb. Probably one of the most important parts of the speech. A verb is an action. For example, when I talk, when I walk, when I teach, all those are actions. That means that all those are verbs. For example, play, see, take, make, swim, did. The next part of the speech is the adverb. And the adverb describes not nouns, but verbs. For example, if I say, I quietly teach this class. Teach is the verb, but quietly is given a description of a verb. So that means that's an adverb. Other examples are well, badly, slowly, fast, or long. The next one are the prepositions. And the preposition shows relationships among the words. For example, in, at, of, out of, forward, outside, over. The next ones are very important and those are the conjunctions. The conjunctions connect the words in a speech. But what is the meaning of connect words? For example, when we say and, because, but, while, when. Those are also called connectors. And the last one of these parts of the speech is the interjection. The interjection describes a sound. Yes, a sound that is written in a speech. For example, whoops, ah, boo, wow, psst, hey. See, those are the parts of the speech. Now let's see if we understood them with this example. The man always watched the beautiful stars in the sky outside his house and very slowly drew them in his notebook. 
But one day his pen didn't work anymore. Crack! It sounded before it broke in two. He was devastated and very fast went inside to find another one. Now tell me what verbs can we find? Very good. Watched is a verb. Drew is a verb. Work is a verb. Sounded is also a verb. How about the nouns? Excellent! Man is a noun. Stars is another noun. House, pen, notebook. What about a conjunction? Very good. And, but. How about an interjection? Excellent. Crack. That was the sound. Now let's find an adverb. Fantastic. Slowly is an adverb. See? If you recognize those parts of the speech, it will be very easy for you to create your own speech and speak or write in a better way. I'll see you later, my friends. Oh my.